What it is, guys, it's your boy, The Wolf, coming at you Mad Wiley style. All right, so this particular video is going to be about the ecclesiastic claim. Now, what is the ecclesiastic claim? What is the, does it have jurisdiction? What is it? Well, the ecclesiastical claim is basically you claiming that you are operating in the jurisdiction under the Bible, okay? Or a Bible, or a church or faith-based uh, situation, jurisdiction, um, you can even combine that with your own family line and lineage, whatever else. Basically, you're saying that between God and you, so your creator and you, which is actually the true way that you are supposed to do church. You're not supposed to be like, um, you know, confess your sins really to some other man because he's just a man. Um, he can't absolve you. Um, you know, even the Bible says that you can only get to heaven by your... your um, by your faith, not by your works, okay? Um, which, but it is still looked at, but you get in by your faith, okay? But but your works can uh, prevent you from getting in there, all right? So the ecclesiastical claim is basically an affidavit. Um, by the time you see this, I may either have one available or I might be still working on one. So if it's there, cool. If not, I might be working on it. Otherwise, you can create your own. So the Ecclesiastical claim, or, aff or affidavit of ecclesiastical claim, we'll call it, is essentially you putting down that you start off by saying, like, you know, this is where I'm located, and that um, you, the living person on the land, we use the on the land because everything that they do is maritime, admiralty, water, jurisdiction, floating dead bodies, um, and, uh, you know, non-living entities resurrected from the black nothing, the ether, okay, which is where the creator of the universe created from, is the darkness, the black, the chalkboard, uh, the ethereal. So you're going to basically say that I am operating under the jurisdiction of my creator, name your creator if you want or whatever or however you do it, and that no other claim comes, you know, has a higher jurisdiction for me, okay? Then underneath it, you can then put but I also operate in the under the Constitution of the United States of America, the geographicals in the geographical sense. And then you can put on there your state, um, state of, or whatever else. Matter of fact, if you use state anything, I would put like um, New York Republic or California Republic, okay, um, versus state of, which is a corporation typically owned by somebody or whatever or some corporation or board members or whatever else. So after that, then you can put anything else you want or just leave it as, as is, okay? Now, in there, you'd want to talk about your, uh, your faith, why you believe the way you believe, um, if you worship um, on every Sunday. Long story short, you put in everything in there, okay? You know, your practices, whatever. Once you're done, not that you need this, but if you have your own stamp, you can stamp it as this being fact in your jurisdiction, your nation. Like for me, uh, hold on one second here. Uh, so like for me, I have my own stamp, okay? So this is a nation of Levitica, and I call it the celestial class, and as lord of it, I stamp my documents, okay? So let them know which jurisdiction that document is in. Okay, nine times out of ten, if you do this, um, they're not gonna, going to be able to keep your documents. So be careful if you do this, because it's not in their jurisdiction. They don't have a, um, a treaty with you, uh, or you know, it's it's foreign to them. And typically, most of these public offices can't keep foreign documents. So foreign. Um, <laughs> so. But uh, I would go and get it also notarized by your notary. Remember the notary, um, there's a difference between a public notary and a notary public. One's private, one's public. Either one of them technically is, is good. Um, just make sure that you put on there that use of the notary does not construe any uh, jurisdiction, um, you know, non citus jurisdiction, so non-city or whatever, but or non-state because the notary has the delegated power of the Secretary of State. So they literally have the same power once they stamp that and the word state is synonymous with the word city or excuse me it's country so your 
country is backing up your claim, especially if you get it signed under, you put the word juret, and then you have the um, notary sign everything underneath there. They may have you raise your arm and um, pledge in, and then you're good. So, this is a particular document that has a lot of power, just like the other affidavits that we send out declaring our status has changed. This is another form of being able to send it out and do that. Now, some people will use this um, in various situations that they need to prove their status because you've taken an oath. So on, on your document, you would, you would want to have on there, you know, I pledge under penalty of perjury that I'm underneath the jurisdiction of the Bible or ecclesiastic claim of having faith that God is my creator, blah, 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 and that I'm also a non-citizen national protected individual um, recognized throughout the world in all space and time and that unless I knowingly waive my rights um, I'm always to be held in this foreign status as a dignitary okay so I would say something like that um, some notaries may have a problem uh, stamping that if they do just go to a different branch um, if they don't or do or whatever, then go to a, just go online and Google notary in my area and have them sign it, stamp it, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Um, other than that, yes, um, I, I'm not going to go through all the areas where you can use this, but let's just say that if you create this and then um, you basically put your property in there, that there are some things that this would help you to either remove or remove assumptions or to get certain benefits or whatever else we'll just say use your imagination all right <clears throat> so that's basically it guys creating an ecclesiastical claim is supposed to be one of the highest claims in the entire world because remember even the UCC which is owned by Unidroid which is owned by the Vatican runs and operates and controls a good chunk of the world's systems and and whatnot okay um, and because we all know that uh, it's all about the hierarchy, um, doing this also uh, admits that you are on the land and that you are a living being, that you are a soul that's occupying this physical vessel. And so you've named your vessel and you have given it its, um, uh, I can't think of the word, um, not bill of sale, but... Um, title we'll just say title okay so the title the ownership of such and all of the jurisdictions and powers therein and contained are listed out in there right so that's basically about it guys it's a high claim um, they can't force you to see if you don't have a faith or a God or whatever else they can try to claim you as being faithless and whatever else and as property well if you put your claim to somewhere else the Creator they, they can't come in between that remember separation of church and state so and that's just that but the the constitution and all the other ones may allow us to have you know to be endowed by our creator with certain uh, free and uh, unalienable rights so there you have it and everything from there was based on all these other corporations and whatever else that came later so you are stepping over that corporation level of uh, jurisdiction and going right to the source so Put your sunglasses on because it's going to be a bright one. Look to the east. All right, keep your eye on the light. So that is about it, guys. Hopefully you appreciate this information. Don't forget to hit the bell, like, and sub. Check out the information on Black Side 32 or the description information down below with discounts and offers or the merchandise. So if you look down below, you should be able to see a little scroll window now, and that'll have things in there. And all of the stuff, the hoodies in there, um, the hats, the T-shirts, you can change the color of each and every one of them and put different logos on there. So just hit the little color palette wheel. All right, guys, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Well, and by getting out of here, I mean I'm going to go grab some food, and then I'm going to come right back and make some more videos because this is what I do because of you. So thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Peace in the Middle East.